uh, actually unit owner of unit owner of killing unit um, so it's going to go to row whatever number of the, of the killing player is and then to the text to be function conversion convert integer to text and this integer is going to be their kills and once again we have to select unit owner and the killing unit and if all goes well this will um, update the leaderboard when they get kills so why don't we place some units here um, back in here press U uh, come on let's go so why don't we place some stuff for neutral a bunch of cows a bunch of these guys and then for player one uh, what am I gonna get Archon that'll do uh, I guess I can't really test well you're gonna have to trust me that for other players the killing would work but for this demo you're only gonna see me getting kills um, but it's pretty obvious that I think it would work so let's save and let's go test this actually hold on I forgot one crucial step I believe which is uh, leaderboard show slash hide all leaderboards and let's show all leaderboards for all players and let's put that right there at the bottom so I drag that right into there so it's down here not inside there okay now let's save now let's go test okay so like I oh wow I should have made I shouldn't have made the title so big but it's kind of stretched it but as you can see local player zero player two player three player four since they're not in the game uh, gets that little gray thing and five and six got zero so perfect and let me go kill some critters to see that it uh, updates ooh lag spike yeah there we go one Wow, this archon's pretty powerful. Oh, I can't target cows. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, I'll have to kill these uh, little dog thingies. As so you can see, my kill is going up. Uh, so that's pretty much does. That's pretty much all I need to show for this tutorial. But um, yeah, don't make your leaderboard so uh, don't make your leaderboard title so big. Um, so one issue that comes out of this is that well, what if player five leaves in the middle of the game? Well, then you have to have the event. Um, this event here let me go back to triggers um, you'd have to make a new trigger and uh, so let's say you'd have to make a new trigger blah 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 and the event would have to be player player leaves the game however um, right now Blizzard has it so that even if you put any here as your condition for someone leaving the game it will not detect when they leave from a disconnect or from going menu quit it'll only detect if they get a victory or defeat or tie so that's a bug right now, and there's a way to go around it, which is running a periodic trigger that checks status every like five seconds, and if it's different than before, then then do the right thing here. Um, but hopefully Blizzard will uh, will fix the player leaving the game event to factor in disconnects and quitting, manual quitting. Um, but not too important if your game can function without it for now. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show the leaderboard and. Yeah, hope that helps uh, fix up all the problems from my previous shoddy leaderboards. Thanks for watching.